Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you something that I was playing with last night in Photoshop. Uh, so I'm going into file and I'm going to create a new document. So there we go. And now I want just to add a gradient so it's not as boring as white. So just like so. Okay, like this. Okay, okay. So now I want to create a new layer. And I want to select the rectangular marquee tool and I just want to go like so and I want to fill that. Now I want to deselect this and I want to duplicate this layer. So I want to duplicate and move it straight to the side. So what I'm going to do is easy way. There are other ways to do it but I'm just going to do, keep it simple. So I'm going to hold Alt or Option on the Mac and just drag holding Shift. So I'm then going to go like so. So there we go. So now I want just to align evenly to see, make sure that they are evenly spaced. So there you go, they are now. And what I want to do is I want to control or command click on the, the icon right here and I want to select the gradient so let's go select gradient tool and right here I want to click exactly on the gradient so we can change the gradients and I want to go from solid to noise and as you can see we have lots of different colors and it looks quite cool actually I like this one so I'm just going to get the gradient right here actually I'm going like so other way around yeah it looks cool and while this is still selected I'm going to add a layer mask now I'm going to the other layer. I'm going Control or Command uh, on the Mac and click. And now we've got that selected. Go and randomize to this one. Why not? So we've got something like so. Actually, I'm going to do it the other way around. Yeah, looks cool. And add the layer mask. Now, once again, get this selected. Make sure that you select layer as well. Randomize. Yeah, like this one. So we go like this, add the layer mask, and select this again. Randomize, yeah, like this one. And there you go. Very cool. And add the layer mask. So now I'm going to just select my move tool. Uh, now we need to unlink this. A layer mask from the pixel layers and I'm going to add a layer style to it so I'm going to auto glow let's get an auto glow right here let's something like so let's spread a bit more yeah looks quite cool let's see Here, in, inner glow as well let's see how it looks so let's go for uh, something like so let's see how it looks. Actually, it's not too bad. Yeah, okay. So I'll just stick as it is. And now I want to make sure that all the other layers have the same layer style. Well, we can hold Alt or Option on the Mac and drag the FX icon to the other ones and it copies it. But we can do something really really cool especially when you have lots of layers on the layer that you have layer style right click and copy layer style now you select all the other layers right click again and paste layer style and there you go I just want to space this a bit more so I'm going just to move it a bit more oops make sure that when you do that that you link the layer to the layer mask and make sure that it's only one layer selected so there you go and now I'm going to select all of them and evenly spaced but once again make sure that they're all linked so there you go cool now unlink all the layers so cool uh, now we're going to timeline and we're going to create a video timeline I'm going just to zoom out just that so you can see what I'm doing and I'm going to layer one and select this first layer 
and layer mask itself and I'm going to add a keyframe to layer mask position there you go and I want to start right here now I can just move to the next one something like so and 20 like so like so and I'm just moving the layer mask itself and uh, as you know layer mask hides and reveals and it will do the same is it uh, yeah it's not so bad I want to drag it down a bit more yeah okay so now this one like so like so and you get the idea just I'm just doing randomly I'm not paying attention I just need to pay attention that I don't go too far because if I go too far it will see hides the bottom or if I come down too far hides the top so there you go let me just make something like this but if you like actually I'm going to leave it like this so you can see Oh no, 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 I'll just go like that, this. But you can, you can, you can do whatever you want. It's your call. I'm just basically just showing you the possibilities. Animating a couple of square uh, rectangles. So I'm going to select the other layer. Make sure the timeline is at the beginning. So I'll click right here. Add a new keyframe, layer mask position, and drag the mask again so like so like so and it's pretty easy very cool bear in mind one thing if you do with more of these equalizer bars the better it looks believe me I've done yesterday with seven and it looked quite cool I'm just doing four so you get the idea and I'm not here wasting your time watching this tutorial because as you can see it's just exactly the same I'm not doing nothing special so you can do you can do your thing as you want and we've done this one and now let's go to the other one let's go back timeline back to zero the layer style lay mask position so I'm going like this like this bring it all the way down something like so and let's bring it down like this and like kind of halfway and as you can see it's just random I'm just trying to make sure that they don't they don't match this like this one here doesn't match with the other one because while doing that you can actually see what's happening with the other ones so bring it down again like so let's go all the way up something like this and we're nearly done because then I'm going to show you some more cool tricks why? because I try to be a nice guy I think I am a nice guy <laughs> so you you have a bit more ideas of what can be animated and how you can animate things so once again selecting my layer mask of the other one I'm going to start leave it like as it is now I'm, I'll bring it down like so like this actually I'm going to bring it down something like so all the way up or kind of and bring it down again and up like so like this and as you can see I'm just trying to make sure that they don't match so it kind of creates a cooler wave and like I said, if you if you do it with more bars, it looks really really cool, and it's quite smooth as well. 
and there you go okay and I'm done so if we hit play let's go from the beginning as you can see while rendering it looks already quite smooth so I'm going back because this is rendered so let's hit play now as you can see it's quite quite cool so but why stop here so if we select all of these layers and right click you can convert to smart object I'm just going to make this so you can see a bit better and I'm going to move it like so and when you convert things to smart object you can do a lot more in animation so as you can see it's still here all the animation if you want to edit any of these properties you just double click and it will tell you that you need to save it in the same location blah 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 and you, as you can see you can even edit the, the animation itself so it's pretty cool so but like I was saying while on smart object you can come here edit and you can transform let's warp let's warp let's go into one of these funky stuff so let's see let's let me see a cool one flag yeah it's not bad let's see how it looks so now let's resize this let's control T or command T let's bring it down so we can see actually what we're doing and we can see and we can even play it so imagine the possibilities if you have a lot more you can do it so there you go how cool is that and bear in mind still rendering and now it's rendering smart objects so it takes a bit more time but as you can see quite cool but if you don't want to warp it well you can come here edit transform and uh, perspective why not so we add some perspective and we say yes please and uh, as you can see still animates very cool but what if you want something else what what about if you want to add some filters you can add some filters you can do quite a lot then you can go to 3d new mesh from layer postcard you're about to create would you like to change it to the workspace yes please and guess what this is in 3d and uh, you can even animate 3d as well so if you go to layers we come to timeline bring it down we have now 3d lights materials and meshes that you can animate but there's something else to show you another day but as you can see you can do quite a lot in in Photoshop and any and animate quite a few things and look at this how cool is that that's it for now thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now